What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. And today we're gonna to be hopping back on the quarry. In this episode, we're gonna be beginning chapter one, Hackett's Quarry Forever. Now this time around, I am going to be doing my absolute best to make sure there are no bodies this episode. Because if you missed the prologue, just know it went down. <laughs> but with that being said, let's go ahead and jump back in. All right, we are back. Oh boy. Oh no, the bunker. Is this where we're actually supposed to go? I want to talk to homie right here. Uh, hello. According to reports from the local paper. Oh, he's got the earbuds in. <clears throat> Some hay bales caught fire during the opening. Hey, what do you uh what do you listen to? Before they knew it, the police were just up in smoke. <laughs> Good to know. Why would you even ask a question? All right, I guess that wasn't what we were supposed to do. I got to get away from that bunker. Is it? Wait, hold on, hold on. I got to see. Is it locked back up? I can't. I assume it is. I can't tell. I wonder what happened after that night, like how all of that just got covered up. OK, so I'm going to say we go up here. Oh, we're actually going in. Jesus Christ. Hey, hey, are you guys going to help with the bags or what? Oh, um, you know, I was actually just working on fixing uh, the door. It's Dylan, come it's on. broken. Dylan, please. I can't. It's, it's... I got to get the last bags What's in there. Come on with this thing. It's just Dylan, please. Sorry, guys. Cool, thanks guys. Okay, so what now? <sighs> Dipshit's bolted it? Really? Dang. They don't want to help out with the bags that bad? It's kind of crazy. Okay, so where exactly are we supposed to be going? Okay, still can't get really around here. Is there something for me to look at? Oh, sneaking in through the window. Oh, skill. Okay, what now? Ugh, horror. I hate horror. Yeah, you're gonna hate it this game. Hmm. I'm looking for lights. Anything I need to click on will be clicked on. Ah, there you are. Trying to lock us out. Okay, really, dude? Locking me out? Okay, in my defense, A, it was Dylan's idea, and two, it was really funny. Oh, yeah, right. Is that is that right? I don't write the rules, man. Okay, whatever. Look, are you going to help me with the bags or what? No, nah, I got to stay here and wait for Mr. H to return our cell phone. Sorry. Jesus Christ. Okay, and why are the stairs blocked? Well, apparently it's to keep raccoons and other pesky varmints from ransacking the place. Uh, Mr. H's words, not mine. Oh! Boring! All right. Where's the other one? Can we go? Can't go up those steps either. Oh, more bags. Okay. <clears throat> All right. 
Got the bags. Great. All by yourself, huh? Yep. Guess you're gonna have to get used to that. Oh my god, you are so mean. <laughs> At least I'm honest. Oh, okay, here we go. Okay, you're not telling me the whole truth about you and Emma, are you, son? Um No, nah, don't get defensive. Go go with it. Go with it. Oh, okay. So now I'm the one who's not telling the whole story, huh? <laughs> oh, well, this is the bait I just gotta take, Jake. Oh, Oh, sorry, I just got so distracted about that rhyme, I forgot what we oh, were... Oh, no, 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 uh, you, you were telling me how you totally have a thing for Ryan. Wait, are we talking about Ryan, the sailing instructor with the sexy brooding loner thing that totally doesn't do anything for me at all? Well... Um... Smug... I'm gonna go mischievous. Mm. Sexy, huh? How does that camp by far? Okay, sure. Uh, look, it was all settled by the girls in bunk seven, like second day of camp. It goes Ryan, me of course, then Dylan, Emma, Abby, okay, Nick, and then Mr. H. And... Okay, are you almost finished? Please. Yep, that's it. That's everyone. Dang. So she really just dumped her ass, huh? I don't. Okay, her whole thing. Is like, how are we going to make this work? Different schools, blah, blah, blah. My whole thing is like, you know, maybe long distance, blah, 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 blah. And she was just like, Jacob. She gave you the look, huh? Yeah, do not pass go. Man, she has got you wrapped all the way around that dainty little finger of hers. How does she do it? Defeated. Nah, 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 no defeat. Brave. No, oh, but I mean, seriously, come on, she's right. It's just like a stupid summer fling. What else did I think was going to happen? Uh, let's see. Uh, love, stability, engagement, marriage, house, kid, affair, kid, divorce, loneliness, child support, visitation lawsuit, mm. surprise reconciliation, empty nest, retirement, grandkid, 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 a nursing home, and finally, dying in each other's arms and then being buried in each other's arms like those thousand-year-old skeletons they dug up in Rome or something. That kind of in the ballpark? Okay. Oh, shit, I'm sorry. That was Ryan and me. Uh, let me see. Ah, here it is. Yours just says Roadhead. Oh, actually, that's just a generic <laughs> all-men list. Huh. That seems legit. <laughs> Jesus so are Christ. Are sure that this old rust bucket's roadworthy? <laughs> we'll take a look. It better be. One more night in the great outdoors might actually kill me. Hey, what doesn't kill you will make you stronger. Well, I haven't killed you yet. And you're still pretty pathetic. Hey, shut up. <clears throat> uh, okay, so, um... Total hypothetical, but if I was like a huge asshole and I wanted to break down the van so we'd have to spend another night here, uh, what exactly would I need to do? Well, you'd probably break the fuel line or, I don't know, rip out the rotor arm. And yes, that would make you a total asshole. Okay, and what does a rotor arm look like again? It's like an arm that's all rotary. You know, it's under the little black dome with the leads poking out. Jake... You do realize that even if we somehow did get stuck out here, one more night with Emma wouldn't make a difference. Trust me, Chick's made up her mind. Yeah. Sure. Guess we'll just have to find out. <sighs> no way. There's no option against this? No. I thought he was saying like in the sense that someone had already done it. And he was just looking at it like, wait, we're actually stuck here. No, man, this ain't the way. Steel rotor arm brake fuel line. I don't condone this. <laughs> I guess if we steal the rotor arm, he could eventually get exposed and it could be put back. That's what I'll go with. you right back tomorrow. No harm, no foul. 
Why oh, would you is. do that? Why do they look like they're up to something? Hey, Jacob. What? No, dude, please. D d d Go long. Oh, Nick. Woo. Boom. Oh. oh. There it is. Oh, Ooh. man. Good sight. Oh, freak. Oh. Oh, bro, stop. Freaks. <clears throat> I'm surrounded by freaks. <clears throat> oh, thank God. I mean, I get the whole no technology thing, but take me back, world. You would have thought Mr. H could have, like, charged up our phones, like, a little bit. Nothing's ever your fault, is it? <laughs> you know, you should really just save it for emergencies only. <laughs> Unless, of course, is being dumped <laughs> an emergency? Dang! Oh, De Ooh. I'm about to go out. He didn't have to fry him like that. <laughs> he fried him for no reason. Uh, uh, okay. Well, at least I had a relationship this summer. Oh, damn. Now we burn. Yeah, well, maybe not everyone is looking for a hook. Okay, okay. okay let's all put our little dick swing at the show on the road, huh? Where's everybody else? Everybody's why, out why frying. Would I... mm -hmm. Sometimes you know stuff I don't. Look, I don't. I don't even know how to respond to that. You say, Nick, you're way smarter than me, and you're a super hot stud who gets any cheeky ones. Okay, yeah, keep German Junior. Hey there, party bear. Status report? We are officially empty nesters. High five up top. I got that. Oh boy. You're about to get your phone back, aren't you? Let's go collect our bags and away from this mosquito infested backwoods dump. Doors locked, bags inside. <sighs> Fuck me. Yep. Well, it's obvious what we have to do here. Find someone with a key? Shape our destiny. Then by shape our destiny, I mean shape our way through this crappy lock and grab our bags. Um, leave bags break in. I mean, obviously you don't want to leave your stuff, but I mean, breaking in though? Screw it, we're breaking in. Okay, let's do it. We better not get in trouble. I won't tell if you won't tell. Mr. Hackett's gonna find out. So what? He'll just think it was a bear or something. Have you ever seen a bear in these woods? No, but that doesn't mean they're not out there. Fair point. All right, let's do this. On three. One. Two. Three! Ugh. That was fairly easy. All about the power of positive thinking. Why do I ever listen to you? Because I'm always right. Are you sure they're gonna think it was a bear? Oh my god, relax. It's not like we killed someone. All right, well, I'm just gonna take another look around, make sure we didn't miss anything. Go nuts. All right. I don't know. I just wonder how that's gonna come back to bite me. Okay, what's this? Why would this place be in the news? And okay, what's next? Oh, here we go. Can't believe I'm actually gonna miss all those lumpy loose springs. I think that should be about it. Oh, Aww. I'm wrong. This was little Izzy's. Um, 
Um, I'm a little sus about keeping that thing, but why not? Just keep it. Let's get you back to Izzy. Path updated. What could that have changed? I think that might have been something good. But we're out of here. Where do we go now? All this free space. Hold on, hold on. I'm going I'm to make a roll over here right quick. Unless it just doesn't let me get into this area. Ooh, we can go over here. Oh, here we go. Was, was I supposed to come here? Gonna be weird not waking up to Dylan's morning announcement. What, what was the point of that sound? Hey, you stop that. <laughs> no, there was something had to happen for that sound to happen at that point. Okay, let's proceed. Ooh, found something. Jacob hasn't seen this. Uh oh. Ugh. Ugh. What is that? Is it Dylan's? Ugh. Wait, what does that say? Oh, I got it now. Jacob plus Emma forever but does cross the input for summer that's tough whoever did that is wrong <laughs> is that a person right there I, th I think that is oh that's emma right yes the heck Oh, I was about to take her in water. That's what was about to happen. Hello, Emma. Ready to roll? Let's go. Let's do it. Finally. Time to let loose and vamoose this caboose. How are you so dramatic? Annoying. Confident. It's just acting. It's what the people want. So you're faking it? I mean, in a way, faking it is just being yourself, but louder. You should try it sometime. You never know who you might impress. No. <laughs> it's too late now, anyway. For what? You and Nick? You never know unless you put yourself out there. Ooh. To the right. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. Nice steering tech. Jinkies. Did she just say okay, jinkies? So, hypothetically, if I were to put myself out there, what if he ends up being a dud? Kind of like you and Jacob. He's actually really sweet. Then why'd you quit it? Summer fling. We're going to school, like, four states away. I, he gets it. Yeah, sure. But that's us. You and Nick could be different. When do you get his handle? Hit him up. Oh, I already have his email. It was in the packet they gave to us on the first day. Email? Are you 93? What's wrong with email? <laughs> email. <laughs> I'm really going to miss you, Abby. Oh, hold up. 
Oh, but the lodge is that way. Go right here. Why? Come on, scenic route. One last victory lap around the camp. This is going to be a choice. Back to lodge, scenic route. <sighs> I don't trust the scenic row, but I know for a fact, if we just go back to the lodge, Emma's going to have trust issues or something like that. Somehow from not wanting to go on one little scenic route. Oh God. I got to go for safety because something's going to pop off and then they're going to be split off and die. Nope. We're taking the safety. We should really get back. Boo. Thumbs down. Everyone's waiting for us. Nick isn't gonna leave without saying goodbye. Shit, Abby! Oh! Woo! Oh. Almost ran that thing over, boy. Woo! Too close. Sorry, squirrel dude. My girl here is on her way to ask a guy out for the first time, like, ever. Emma! <laughs> Couldn't let her squirrel out of it. I am going to throw you out of the cart. I deserve that. Okay, everybody's all together, not separated. Don't worry, Jacob, I got you. I got a full tank of gas, so. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> oh, idiot. <laughs> Does nobody own phone chargers anymore? Hey, there's no signal out here anyways, dude, okay? This place is like patchy as balls. <sighs> Your balls are patchy? What? No. It's okay. I'll just go get some juice from Mr. H before we go. And... Uh, ew. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> hey, Nick. Hey, where were you guys? <gasps> Wouldn't you like to know? Ignore her, please. Let's go. Just gotta get these bags up onto the. Oh, hey, hey, here. Let me um, let me get it for you. I can take uh, care of my own bag, thank you. What? Are you sure? Because I mean, it's really not that big. She of a can deal. take care of her own bag, thank you. We can both take care of our own bag, thank you. Dang. Cool. Ugh. Nudge. I guess so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. There we go. Uh, uh, Abby, do you need. Yeah. Can I. Thank you. Okay, that was a good nudge. Hey, has anyone seen Ryan? Oh, yeah, he's probably off being all brooding and mysterious and alluring somewhere. <laughs> I'm here. What were you doing under there? Having a little knee party? Uh, I was listening to a podcast, actually. Oh, podcast. Nice. That's cool. <laughs> What's it about? Nah, you don't got to go protective. D just just be friendly. Keep it cordial. Yeah, what's it about? Is it about me? You think I was listening to a podcast about you? Okay, if anyone here had a podcast about them, it'd be me. Yeah, if there was a podcast called How to Look and Smell Like a Butt. Oh my god, you are so childish. At least I don't look and smell like a butt. <laughs> no, it's a, it's a paranormal podcast. Th this episode was actually about this place, weirdly enough. The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. The who of the what's it where now? What's the Hag of Hackett's Quarry? You don't know about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Uh, if I did, would I be asking them ass? Well, well, tell her about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. I don't think she wants to know about the Hag of Hackett's uh, Quarry. Uh, can we just please stop saying the Hag of Hackett's Quarry? It's just this campfire story for the kids. It's, um, they're supposedly an old woman who died in a fire a few years back. She haunts the woods looking for her lost baby boy. There are like reports of 
whispers or whatever and then this figure that floats around you know textbook ghost stuff some people say that if she catches you alone she'll try to turn you into her son or kill you or something i don't know it's never really been clear anyways haga haga it's cory you made that up it's right here in the podcast man cool story bro So for a defensive, I don't think it's anything like trying to, no, 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 be supportive of homie. Seriously though, you should have seen the first time he told the story to the kids at the campfire. They were scarred for life. I mean, not for <laughs> life. You got to be careful with this stuff, man. This shit's true. Come on, dude, bullshit. What's the holdup, Hacketeers? Yeah, uh, nearly done, Mr. H. We're up to it. Get those butts in gear. Sorry, Mr. H. We had to liberate some luggage. Shut up. Maybe if somebody didn't spend so much time trying to press the ladies' ball as ghost stories. You asked. Ghost stories? The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Oh! <sighs> hey, you still have the van key, Mr. H? Well, yes, I do. You know, I'd lose my head if it wasn't stuck on. Back to the office I go. Give me a hand, would you, Ryan? Oh, okay. Yo, Mr. H. What's up, DJ Dylan? Any chance I could get a little charge? I want to have some uh, tunes for the road. No can do. Dang. Understanding. Cool, cool, yeah. No worries. Good man. Uh, no big deal. You can share my earbuds. Okay, okay. Everything's going fine. Nothing is going out of the wild. So, uh, Chris, I I'm actually glad we got a moment to talk. Uh, uh oh. I'm not fired, am I? <laughs> no, no, it's, um, it's just, you know, about the whole thing with, with the... What the... Hold that thought, partner. I'm going to have to take this. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, sorry. Hello. Yeah. What's it? I don't know. That seems like it could be a juicy conversation. He did kind of want us out of there. But what for like listening, you know, like, and then as you know, boom, he opens up that door. He's like, were you listening to my conversation? <laughs> and then it's GG's lose his trust. <sighs> Is that a risk I want to take? Nah, let's get in on that combo. What's going on? Don't be so much of a... They're almost out of here, all right? You're cutting it pretty close. We don't want to have... Just hold your damn horses, all right? Everything's A-OK -okay on this end. Bobby and I are geared up. If he's in the area, we'll get him. This is a waste of time. You know what? I know it. No, should I have? He's gone quiet. Probably staying out of the way. Speaking of which, the longer you keep me on this damn phone, the longer it's going to... Take me to get rid of these damn kids. Yeah, of course. Adios. Bro, get out of there. Bro, get out of there. Sorry, I, I wasn't. Bro, why are you still listening? listening? I, I was just like. Oh I mean, I heard, my god. I, mean, I, was, I didn't hear what you were. We're cool, champ. Just come on in. Sorry I pushed you out like that. Bro, why were you still standing there like that? You, uh, you need a hand looking for the keys? Uh, no, end of summer, busy, busy. You know. Anyway, you were asking me? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. It was just the whole animation school thing, what you thought I should do. Right. Y you know, it's a, whether or not I should like leave my sister with my grandparents since I'd have to live on campus, you know, and, 
my mom's not exactly around, so I wouldn't want to leave Sarah on her own. You know, fam our family's small enough as it is. Well, family is important, right? Dang it. Bro, do even care about the conversation? Concerned. I, I, it could go either way with this to be salty because it's like he's actually trying to have a dead up conversation with him. He's not paying attention, but we'll go concerned route. I'm kind of 50 50 on this one. Is everything OK? You got a hot day tonight? Oh, boy. If you only knew. <laughs> So, uh, what, what did you need me for? You're one of my favorite counselors, Ryan. You know that. One of the good ones. But, do you know how many calls I get from parents, letter after letter, of these terrified kids that they send home? Hmm. Huh. I, I didn't realize that. Believe it or not, scaring kids away from sleepaway camp is kind of bad for business. So, maybe just... He's up on the ghost stories. So okay, th that's I fair. I realized it was such a big deal. Rather I thought he's capping though. Repercussions of your actions, Buster. It's a big part of being a counselor, a leader. Yeah. Just stick to kumbaya next time, okay? What's that? You guys don't do kumbaya anymore. Good grief. I'm outgrowing my own cliches. I feel like he's lying. Hey, Chris, what's going on? I just want to get you guys safely out of Dodge before the sun goes down. Why? Why? It's getting dark, Ryan, and it's not safe to drive in the dark. And safety is the first step towards fun. Just give me a minute. Where in the good goddamn are they? Please say goodbye to Caleb and Kaylee for me. They sort of just snuck off. Well, you'll see them again next year. Caleb works at the scrapyard during the off season, and Kaylee, well, she's still figuring out what she wants to do. She's got her whole life ahead of her. They both just come and go as they please, really. Teenagers, am I right? Actually, could have used the help packing up since we were short staffed. Hey, you guys seem to manage all right. But I'll tell them both you were sad you missed them. Unlocked the van. Put the keys in my pocket, came in the office. You put them in the mug. Uh -huh. Let's skedaddle. Nah, I feel like he just doesn't want that story specifically to be talked about. I don't know. That was some cap. <laughs> Make sure they're all ready to go for real this time. Wait, how did you get your phone back before the rest of us? I never turned it in. You sure did turn it off before you handed it in, Dylan. Them's the rules, you noob. Dang. I try not to dwell on the past, man. Good. Because it's time to dwell in the minivan. Get on with our respective lives. Move it. Let's go. What's the problem? Oh, dude, I don't know. I, I think there's something wrong with the engine, Mr. H. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, dude, it's just like kaput. All right, let me try. What, dude, I'm telling you, all right? It's busted. Well, maybe you're doing well, it wrong. Well, maybe you're doing it wrong. What the fuck, dude? Enough. Enough, both of you. Shit. Come on. All right, Come dude, on. Chill. Chill, Let's go. dude. Oh, God. 
Damn it! I Half told updated. you kids to check everything. No, we did. It, it should be working. Yeah, well, coulda and shoulda doesn't mean it is, does it? Damn it! Okay. Okay. Well, uh, look, it's not that big of a deal, okay? We'll just spend one more night here. No! No! Just stop. Let me think. Ooh. Okay. Damn it. You're right. You're right. Yeah. What? Yeah, you're right. Okay, let me catch this. Hey, Brian, come here for a sec. Make sure that everybody is inside the lodge for tonight. Lock the doors. No one in, no one out. No one. Got it? Okay. I'll be back first thing in the morning, and we'll get you all on the road. You just have to keep everyone inside. Can you promise me you'll do that? Bro, I... Uncertain? There's no way everybody's just Wait, gonna want to listen to him. stay inside until tomorrow? Why? Where are you going? Ryan, I need you to trust me. Like I'm trusting you. Can you do that? Lock the doors. And for God's sake, keep the noise down. Bro is gone. So, what was that about? He, uh, said to stay inside. That we're not leaving until the morning. Are you kidding me? Um... Are you kidding me? What are we supposed to do? Well, we should go inside, like he said. We could go inside until morning. Yeah. Or... Or we could do something else. Oh, God. No, we shouldn't play games. I know there's not going to be a route where I can see what he's talking about and then say, no, we just need to follow the instructions. Well, he's just going to go ahead and take the backlash. Insistent. No, 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 no. We should really listen to what Chris told us to do. Of course. Uh, who cares what Chris told us to do? He's not our boss anymore. P-A-R-T. Why the fuck not? All right, it seems like the stars have aligned for us, no? Okay, okay, okay. One last epic bonfire blowout for all time. GG's. Oh, dude. Fuck yes, I'm in, Nick. You're in. Yeah, I'm in. Dylan's in, obviously. My man, Caitlin. I go where my people need me. Yeah, okay. M, what do you say? Mm. <laughs> yeah, I'm in. Mr. Hackett seemed pretty insistent we stay in the lodge. He, he was just trying to freak us out, you know? Like, um, like one of Ryan's stupid ghost stories. Why would he want to scare us? <laughs> Supportive, he was just concerned for us. Apprehensive, he did seem freaked out. No, he seemed freaked out. I don't think he was trying to freak us out, Jacob. I think he was really freaked out by something. Jesus Christ. Chris seemed real serious about this, guys. Just say you're in, man. Come on, one last night. Yeah, Dude, he won't even know. I, I promised. I no, 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 dude, dude. It's all good, all right? We get it. You know, you, uh, you don't want to disappoint daddy. 
Oh my god. Yeah, Jacob deserved everything he got, bro. I don't like no Jacob. Dismissive or defensive? Just dismissive. Whatever, man. It's gonna be fine, man. Trust me. It's gonna be chill. All right, all right, all right. Hacketeers, party planning committee. Let's do this. Um, okay. First things first. Nick and Abby, you will get some firewood. Uh, M and I will go to the stores for some supplies. And uh, Dylan, you just, I don't know, figure out how to charge the phones. For Everybody's something. dead, bro. All right, let's do this. All because of Jacob. going on <laughs> hunting season It's a wrap. I was hoping you'd come back to me. Let's see what you found. Empty handed. You need to look around you, find my cards, and I can help you. Where I'm from, we look out for each other. Okay, I'm gonna look harder. Please. You'd better be going. It's still early and the moon is bright, but time won't wait. Not for those with a story to tell. Be careful. Look out for yourselves. And look out for my cards. I will find the cards. Possibly. Oh, chapter two, truth or dare. So here we are stranded in the great American wild with nothing but our wits to guide us. Will humanity prevail or will we grow ravenous and resort to eating the flesh of the deceased like I saw in that one plane crash movie? First course, filet au Jacob. Rich and full body, this rare beefcake. Whoa. An irritating taste lingering on the palate. An acquired taste, some would say. Well. What? Looks like you're trying to thread a needle with a packet of loose sausages. Oh my God, I'm almost done, okay? Jesus Christ. And for the record, your analogies are very hurtful. Okay, I'm almost there. One second. Kick door. Just leave it. Don't kick it. Hi, there we go. And Viola. Uh, your hair clip, madam. Yeah, you can keep it. It's not too shabby, huh? Um, don't be sarcastic, playful. I like a man who's good with his hands. Yeah, well, they call me Mr. Magic Fingers. <laughs> no. Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay, so if I were a beer, where would I be hiding? Beep, 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 beep. 
What Beep. are you doing? Beep. Oh, <laughs> uh, it's my beer dar. Helps me dar for beers. Huh. How am I just noticing how super lame you are? What? But it, it's my beer dar, dude. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go over here. Wow, the kids really wiped this place out. Mr. H loved his accessories. A safe? <laughs> Think it's locked. Don't know what I was expecting. I don't know either. Oh. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, jackpot. Hey, uh, check out my giant melons. Oh. See, you just cut a hole in it. Mm hmm. You pour in your vodka. It's party time. You just, you pour the vodka right in it. Yeah. It's the most fun you could have with a hole in watermelon. Or, well, second most. Okay, I'm gonna leave you two alone and go look for some more party supplies. Bro, a watermelon? <laughs> I'm, I'm done. All right, everybody, I'm gonna end it right there. It didn't go down in chapter one, but I'm gonna take it. Mission accomplished. Nobody died. Let's go. <laughs> but in the next episode, we're gonna be beginning chapter two, where I can definitely tell things are going to unfold, considering how chapter one ended. But until then, I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.